I'm here to show you all the goodness of the Agent Development Kit, ADK, that we just released. To build an agent in ADK with Gemini and Vertex AI, we need three things. We need an instruction, we need tools, and we need a model. The instruction defines the agent's goal. The tools enable the agent to perform actions beyond a plain LLM, via additional function and API calls. And the model handles all LLM tasks and is responsible for calling the tools. In ADK, we support the model context protocol, my favorite protocol. MCP creates a standardized structure and format for all the information an LLM needs to process a data request. This allows our agent to use tools for retrieval augmented generation, also known as RAG. ADK is a Python SDK. Let's write some code. Here I am in Cloud Shell Editor using ADK. The first thing I need to do before we define an agent is to connect to Gemini and Vertex AI. This is very easy to do with a .n file. I can either configure my Google Cloud project or I can easily access Vertex AI using an API key. Okay, with that established, let's look at our agent code. Remember, I said an agent needs instruction, tools, and a model. We define our agent's goal using an instruction. It's the foundation of any agent. We describe in natural language what the agent will do. I use Gemini and Vertex AI to help create this instruction. It's quite detailed because we need to cover a lot of edge cases. For this agent, the instruction focuses on taking a customer request and creating a PDF proposal. And we set the instruction right here in our agent constructor. Next, let's explore tools. We're going to add this Analyze Building Codes tool. It allows our agent to perform RAG by accessing our own private data set for local building codes. The Analyze Building Codes function defines the tool's arguments and return value. And the agent is going to decide on its own when it needs to call this function. So it needs to understand what the function does. And we use this doc string here using natural language to describe what the tool is doing. And this is how the agent knows what the doc function does and when to call it. The function takes a building feature like plumbing or windows, it searches our RAC database for local codes, and then it returns a summary. Clear doc strings are vital. They guide the AI model in selecting the right tool. To perform RAG, we need to retrieve information from outside the agent. For this, I use the model context protocol server from Google's MCP toolbox for databases which we contributed to open source. And I deployed it to this endpoint here. The analyze building codes function uses RAG to ground the agent's responses in data from our database. With this, we've defined a tool for our agent to accomplish its goal. Okay, since we're building an AI agent, we need an AI model from Vertex AI. ADK is model agnostic, so I could use models like Llama or Claude, but I'm using Gemini 2.5. And the model is a key part of the agent because the model handles the execution of the tools we defined and it produces the output we are looking for, a proposal for pages remodel. In essence, building an agent in ADK boils down to just three things instructions, tools, and a model. Okay, time to test the agent. Let's open the terminal. ADK comes with a dev UI for local development. You call it by running ADK web. Okay, open localhost. Let's select our agent. The dev UI handles multimodal inputs like images for us. 
So I'm uploading Paige's ideas and her floor plan. Please create a proposal. We will integrate this UI with Gemini Code Assist and its supported IDEs later this year. Okay, gave us an answer. Wow, look at this. It created this whole professional PDF. <laughs> what a massive time saver. Agent DevKit is public today. I want you all to build something with agents on Gemini that makes your life easier. Thanks so much.